Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the OSIRIX UK user group. And I'd like to talk uh, to you today about how you can import DICOM images into your OSIRIX database for uh, teaching or examining purposes. You can import cases either from a CD or from an external hard drive. And how you harvest DICOM data from your own hospital depends very much on local circumstances. And I'm aware it's much easier in some hospitals than others. It is preferable, if you can, to export your DICOM images from PACS onto a hard drive, um, as that will make the whole process of exporting cases from PACS and importing them onto a Cyrix very much quicker. But if you have to use a CD, that's absolutely fine. It'll just take a little bit longer. It's very important that if you do use your own external hard drive, you must make sure that it's fully encrypted uh, to ensure that you comply with local information governance guidelines. Now, if you look at my desktop, you will see that I have two encrypted external hard drives uh, plugged into my laptop at the moment. The first one is the small one that I take to the hospital, and that has got uh, DICOM data from four patients uh, harvested from PACS, and those are the ones that we're going to import um, onto OSIRIX today. Now, I need to point out that these have been given fictitious names and patient identifiers for teaching purposes. Now, the second hard drive is a one terabyte encrypted external drive, and this contains all my uh, teaching cases, my whole museum, as well as some subsets of smaller cases that I use for um, teaching FRCR candidates. So if we open OSIRIX now, um, and I'm using version 5.5.2 at the time of recording, uh, you will see that um, I've opened the local default database, which has no patients in it at the moment. Now, it's very easy to import cases into the uh, default database. I simply press import. I point the uh, SRX to the uh, disk that contains the cases that I want to import. And I think today I'll import the first three of those cases, so I highlight them, and then I press Open. Now, at this point, Asarix will ask you whether you want to copy the links or copy the files, and it's very important that you always copy the files. And once you press that, you'll see very quickly those cases will come across into the local default database. So you can have a quick look at them and make sure you're happy that you've got all the images you want. Now that's great, um, but it's very important to recognize at this point that these cases, which are not anonymized, um, are actually sitting on your laptop uh, at the moment. They're not in your encrypted external hard drive, and um, that would not comply with my own local information governance guidelines. So I would always prefer at this point, if I haven't got time to anonymize the cases straight away, to put them onto my encrypted external hard drive. Now in order to do that, I want to create a folder on there that is named something like cases for anonymization, so that I don't mix it up with my other cases. Um, and once you've been doing this for a while, you'll probably have a, a folder sitting on your hard drive for that purpose, but I'm going to show you how to create one. We need to close OSIRIX, open up our external hard drive, and we need to create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and it might be called Cases for Anonymization. So I've got my folder created now, um, so I'm now going to open OSIRIX again. And what I need to do now is to tell OSIRIX to look at that particular folder so that I can move these patients across into it. 
And the way we do that is in Asarix, you press File and we press New Database Folder. And then I need to point it to my encrypted external hard drive and point it to that folder that I just created and press Create. Now, once I've done that, you will see that as well as um, the local default database showing in the sources, I also have that folder, and at the moment it's empty. So if I click back on the local default database and highlight these patients, what I can do is simply drag them across into that folder, and they go very quickly. And now if I look in that folder, there I can see are these four uh, cases um, safely on the encrypted drive. And at this point, what I would normally do would be to delete these off my laptop. So I just highlight them, I right click, and I press select deleted lines, and then OK. So what I've done is I've shown you how you import um, DICON cases onto Asarix and also how to store them safely onto an encrypted hard drive prior to the work that you're going to do to anonymize them and prepare them uh, for teaching. And I will cover that topic in a subsequent tutorial. I hope you found that uh, helpful. Thank you very much for your attention.